10, 12, 14 individual wires into a single conduit. And you've had trouble where you're trying to make them all up together, but some slip out and you wind up only getting three once you're finished your pull instead of all 12. I'm going to show you tonight. Uh, It's not necessarily a secret because it's pretty self-explanatory on what you got to do. But if you're not in the field and you haven't had the training of like actual infield training, they don't teach you this in trade school. You got to learn this by observation and then trying it yourself. And tonight we're going to give you guys the observation portion of it. Uh, Once you see it, you should be able to figure it out yourself. But it's not something that common. It's not like, I'm just going to take a fish tank with the opening here, put all 12 of those in there and have a good time. You know, there's definitely a method to the madness when trying to do something like this. So we got total yeah. sold here to my right. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Mm. Just living the dream on Tata Tuesday. It's a great day. Yeah. Uh, see some of our regulars are in the house. Big Red Farmer, Rodney Widger, and learning with Juan. Uh, Paul the Paul the Man W. Joshua Wilson and your boy Ram. How y'all doing? Appreciate you knocking all that out for me. Yeah, we got some members in here. Oh. Or George Way. Always appreciate the support. Now, check this out. We've got a single number 12. I believe they're number 12. I've actually got the wire spools right here. <laughs> so, me. got full wire spools. This should be number 12. It's not number 10. So, I can see it's number 12. You be able to see it on camera is not probably going to happen, but you can see that that's number 12 wire. Now, what you don't know is that number 12 wire is actually good. For, you know, more than 200 pounds. So I'm going to show you right now. I got some number 12 wire here. And I'm just going to hang on it. Well, I mean, you're hanging on the conduit, so. Yeah, but I'm hanging on the wire, which is hanging on the conduit, right? Dang, that's pretty impressive. So we got that up there. That is one single number 12. So. What that tells me is that I can pull all of these wires uh, enough force to 200 pounds. You can put all those wires on 200 pounds of force without breaking it. So when we're going to make our wire head, what we're going to do, we're going to do what we call stagger. And you're going to wind up with maybe one number 12 holding all this together and it all intertwined. Or we can do where you're stripping a bunch of wire about this long, and then you're kind of (laughs) folding it in and and making a wire head. We're going to do a couple of different ways to show you. And each time I'm going to lift my weight up on whatever I make tonight to show you that whatever we made can definitely get pulled through a conduit. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about the wire management, because wire management is one of the most important things you can ever learn when you're an electrician. And it's not... When you pull wire off a spool, the last thing you want to do is this, because you can see how it's turning into a telephone. Yeah. You actually want to, you actually want to pull it off straight. Right. Act, which is, uh, I got some voiceovers coming from the last live that we did when we were pulling the conduit, when we were bending the conduit, <laughs> and we were talking about the bender. Now the audio cut off a little bit. So is pear, Jeremy. But these benders here, they have a flared edge here. And then Mm -hmm. they get skinny. And this does two things. The first thing it does is it makes it nice to grab because you got a better handle. The other thing is when you stick this on a ladder and you've got a 2,500 foot spool, this is just a little dinky spool. But if you need to, you can bust all these out. You can make something happen. you got options here. You're better off sticking half inch EMT through this, but you can make it happen. When you get the 2,500 foot spools, they weigh probably about 100 pounds. Number 10, maybe more. I don't know. I throw them on my shoulder. I don't know how much they weigh. Wasn't a good idea, is all I know. When you set this up on your ladder, right, you got this side here that's going to go on the ladder. This side here is going to go on that support side because it's flared out here. This can't actively slip off the ladder when you're using it as an axle 
because you've got this free bump here. Right. Milwaukee vendors don't have that. No. By the way. Milwaukee vendors are completely flat. There's no taper to them. And the three-quarter bender is this thickness the whole time. And the one-inch bender is that much thicker. So if you ask me what bender to get, it would either be a Klein or an Ideal. And as you can see, the accuracy from last night, this bender is dead on. And not all benders are dead on. Most benders are about an eighth to three-eighths off. Yeah. <clears throat> I used to use uh, bicycles. Um... I would take the wheels off or the rubber off the wheels and I would use the bicycle to uh, help me run wire because I was running it by myself. Yeah. So I had a, I had a weight, uh, like I, I built an entire rig. I had a weight on each wire so that they were always uh i i didn't have to worry about any tangles or anything exactly 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 and, and i would run uh i i could run as many as eight of them depending on how many bikes i wanted to put together so what he's talking about the weight right you see all these wires are tangled up here when i pull here if i'm not keeping tension on this wire you're going to see these wires all get kind of jumbled up like this someone needs to keep them straight while you're pulling so it feeds so if you if you take your clines or whatever and you got a loose wire pull or something this acts yep. as weight and you can pull this up by yourself so when he says he's adding the weight that makes perfect sense and that's a good sign of a pro making a weight system especially with what you did you did megawatt systems in the middle yeah. of nowhere so i mean that's some big long wire pulls uh, sometimes you're pulling a mile. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. I'm a little bit under the weather. I slept until two o'clock today. Three o'clock. Yeah. Uh, uh, so hey, Jeremy said that your body's starting to grow back into your head. Yeah, I've been eating everything inside, trying to gain more weight. So we are getting healthier and building a more tolerance, man. But I'm still got a low immune system. Frog. <laughs> what is this thing? Frog cum oh, helps yeah, wire yeah. pull easier. Of of course, of course. So let's get into it. Let's uh let's pull this out of the conduit. So let's look at the wire managing, right? You want to keep it still. And one of the best yeah. things you can do is to kind of hand over hand when you're dealing with wire. Absolutely hand over hand because you're going to see I'm going to be able to go hand over hand. And this isn't going to get, and, and it's free to twist, right? If you've got a right. helper that thinks they're helping you by holding the other side of this while you're trying to let it twist. Just throw your clients at them because that's the only way they're going to learn. <laughs> Don't touch my wire because it, it has to twist. You know, it's just like an extension cord. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve conductors here. And the first thing we want to do dear to me. is we want to get some electrical tape here. You can actually buy uh, wire grease if you're pulling long, long cable. You can actually get uh, through through conduit. Um, you can actually buy wire grease, and you don't have to use the other stuff. Sure. Right? Yeah, wire lube. Yeah. So we are going to try something here. <clears throat> I don't know how good it's going to work. But we're going to do called staggering the joint here. So you see we've got about four down here that are low. We've got about four up here that are a little bit higher. We've got two here that are coming up. And we've got one single long one, right? Right. So we're going to try and stagger oh, this dude. joint here. And <laughs> we're going to do this first because we don't have to strip anything. So when we fail, and we likely will, we can uh, – 
go to what we should have done. So if you ask me, this much wire would require stripping, but you can see how tight I'm pulling this, keeping tension on it and wrapping it around, maintaining control here. Yes, sir. Like this, and this is where it helps to actually have a helper and hold this straight like this. But we're not gonna do that. And then if you really, you know, you got numbers and stuff and you're trying to protect all this, cause you're gonna have the wire numbers. Don't forget about wire numbers. You're gonna have wire numbers because you've yep. already numbered each end before you started doing all this. You should. It's gonna be like, you know, at least a hundred foot long. So you can do what you call reverse wrapping where you flip this around like this and then the sticky side is out. Right. But we're not gonna do that, man, because this is actually gonna be a pretty difficult pull. So we're going to just use friction to get this done. And I'm only going to tape it in a couple of spots, but you can see how tight we're pulling here. Where we start off this thick, and once we pull, you see how, you see the tension on that. Yeah. So we're going to do one here. I'm going to sit down because I am exhausted. Wish I could get that was just his nut dropping. Yeah. You want to keep them all uniform. You don't want anything crossing over what was there before. You want to keep it nice and straight. We're going to try and tape here now. Doing the same thing. <laughs> Joshua. Renegade, what's that? Comment Z, how you doing? Uh, Joshua said, make sure you uh, tape every two feet. Electricians <laughs> when you love it when you have to replace a wire in, in, in the bunch. Yeah. So you can see we're, we're staggering. We're making sure to catch all the staggers. Because you think about it, when you're pulling through conduit, see that hard edge right there? Yeah. You don't want that. You want to make it nice and kind of contoured. So it goes in there. So we got the first one taped really nicely. We're going to show you just the taping method. Let me show you the half inch. And then we're going to show you how to strip them, which is what you'd That's like right, to do George. with like number eights and up. What's up, George? How you doing? Uh, hi from Brazil. And he said um, our favorite presidential candidate that I will not mention on air because YouTube doesn't like it. Very nice. Let me see. Yeah. All right. So we got this here nice and taped up. Yep. You can see where I'm just got a little bit too tight. So we got a little kind of bump up right there. Uh -huh. not, too bad. not too bad, but still something. That's why it helps to have your helper pulling this as you're taping it. Manzis came in. Let's see if we can put 200 pounds on this. I feel all right, Rodney. All right. I don't think it's going to work, but we can try. think it'd be all right. Oh, maybe. If you fall, I reserve the right to laugh. it would be like a slow fall, I think. Is anybody else pulling for the fall? It's already going to fail. <laughs> I, can already see it. I can already see it sliding all right so i don't know if you guys can see it see where you got that black line there yeah it's pulling down mm -hmm. oh yeah so we're still attached to that nut that one blue okay there's a way to fix this so what's going to happen is if you tied this knock yourself this blue, out man you're only going to get the blue on the other side Right. See how it's sliding? Yeah. There's nothing we can do about that. Now, let me show you how to fix this. Because it's not ruined. User error. <laughs> so you're going to find out why electricians love jet lines so much. We're going to put a little bit of string on this. I'm going to show you how to half hitch. And then this same failed pull is going to work. Does that hat make your head big or look big? I don't know. How hard do you get from looking at it? 
So we're gonna get some jet line. This stuff is Ooh. good for. Uh, I don't know. Ren. The, the Greenlee Jetline is good for a lot of weight. I don't know what this one's good for. Hopefully, it's built the same. Ren, two hours is too long. All right, let me put this back here. Put this here. Now, the trick to this is the tension. I absolutely got to have the tension when doing this. So. I gotta close this in a drawer or get the wipe out here. I'm going to try to slam it in a drawer that way I can pull tension while I'm that making is that correct, a Joshua. half hitch. Because we're gonna start down here and we're gonna work our way all the yep. way down. Sounds good. So let's see if this drawer likes it. <laughs> that didn't work. We can either use a vise or we can do something else. Let me see what else we're gonna do. I don't know what to do. I'm going to tie it to my conduit right over here. I'm just going to take these two. It's a good knot, by the way. If you don't know that knot, you should learn it. That's a very simple, effective, quick knot. It does not like to come out. Okay, I'm going to tie it over here. Yeah. Nobody tell him, but I used to do this with a vacuum cleaner. What do you? The, the short runs like this, I used to use a vacuum cleaner. It's not to pull the wire, it's to pull the rope, yeah. So I, I got a kid's toy with a parachute on it. Make and I took, I took the parachute off of the kid's toy and I used to run, uh, or I used to tie it to the the wire. And then I go to the other side and I just turn on the vacuum and wait until I heard it hit the hose. Okay, so we got us got our tension. All you have to do is get one of the little detailing vacuums. They're perfect for that, for a short run. Okay. How are you going to pull it through with a knot on it? Comments, he said. Oh, we're making the head right now. So we're going to show you how to half hitch. Take it easy, Juan. So first thing we want to do, we want to find that blue wire. It's slipping. Remember, they're all just kind of taped in here. They're not really going to be that secure. We saw that big red. So we're going to tape it. Remember, your buddy will be holding the other side of this. <laughs> and 200 pounds is pretty extreme, by the way. This is not the normal, I promise you. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our string here. We're going to take it in half right here. And we're just going to tie a knot. This is where we're going to start. Uh, comment Z, his name is actually the name of his channel. So you go like this. I don't know if you know how to half hitch. What you're going to do, we're going to bring this back and put this inside of this one like this. It's going to make a loop. Right. The string is really stringy. So. Bear with me. <laughs> Just look I love it. The string is stringy. Yeah, there we go. So you're going to wind up with a bunch of these. Yeah. Like that. And the tighter you pull, the more they grab. So as we pull this way, like this. You can see where it starts to make its own little kind of spot, right? Right. We're going to do a couple of these. String is string. 
You want to keep them all on the same line. That's pretty important. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit more physical than I thought I was going to get today. That's all right, Pat Benatar. Or I don't know who the hell it was. I don't know who's saying let's get Philly Zickle. Maybe Olivia Newton John. <laughs> you do that, Big Red. So we got uh we got three in a knot right here so far. We need more though. Mm-hmm. I'm just waiting to see you hang from it. Man, this string is terrible like this. You just get in a bucket. Five gallon bucket. How do you do a live stream? Please tell you. Um, it's easy. You go to the YouTube app, you hit the plus, and uh go to where it says live and do it. Live. Not the first video with cord and stool I saw this week. Panther, I don't, Panther's been a member for eight months. Congratulations, but I don't want to know what types of videos you're watching there, sir. <laughs> He's into that weird bondage stuff, apparently. Okay. We're going to see what happens. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to loop this down here like this. We're going to catch this in a loop like that. Yeah. Top. And I'm going to try and half hitch it here. At least one more spot. <laughs> well, Panther, if, if you're that, we don't want the cure. And then... Oh, my God. Joshua yeah. Wilson and Panther have very similar tastes in corn. Oh, all right. Uh, you tell me, are the words moving? It should be pretty stationary. Yeah, your words are moving. Okay, so we got this going. Those are all half hitches. Thank you, Paul. I like this hat. What, what you would do from that point would be, you know, you could loop it in here with the string. I don't think the string is good for 200 pounds, though. We could test mm -hmm. that before I just break this thing. That would be kind of irritating. Let's see if the string. Let's see what the string is good for. Let's go. How good Your is video the was string? A movie. Now, Joshua, you've seen both halves of, of Panther. Anybody want to tell them what the words say? <laughs> hey, you think it's going to break? We'll see. I think it'll be all right. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't be a... <laughs> Read the hat. Ten of these for the next giveaway? Dude, you I, guys I don't want to, this. Hat. I kind of want to go a little bit lower just to make sure that it's not going to like die. <laughs> so are we sorry to pull up on it, but it's not good for two hundred. <laughs> Did you hit yourself in the head? No, no, that's why I had this. So like this, dude. I'd be oh my god. Red. That, it almost so, looked like you hit yourself in the head. Oh, hey, <laughs> you, man, I, I actually laughed so hard I got dizzy. <laughs> hey, we, we actually broke the wire. Uh oh. Yeah, we cut it's the wire. almost like that wire bites or that cord bites into wire. So the string <laughs> did not break. Thank you. Uh, uh, let's try it again. Thank you, Rodden. I think everybody likes this hat. 
They're on my TikTok shop. I don't get any money for it. So thanks, Big Red. <laughs> Tactics almost goes to the ER again. <laughs> Anybody else remember the night that his uh, workstation almost knocked him out? <laughs> We're going to try it again. Hang on. All right. Your green lead is rated at 210 pounds. Dang. He did hit him at his head. That's what I, that's what I thought. It looked like he hit his head. No, I didn't hit my head. How about you hit my head? I bet you funny enough to tell you. <laughs> so this is the string. <laughs> it didn't it strings on face. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I hit my head. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll run my hit, hit it right there on the. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, we need some stronger uh, wire. We're breaking wire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, Rodney. Is this OSHA approved? All W, everything we do is OSHA approved. Yeah. They use it in their uh, how what not to do videos. Perfect. By the way, you've got to clip that uh, that part of this and, and just put it out there for the people. <laughs> just put it out there. I mean, it's pretty hilarious. It's pretty funny. Let's get the tool test going. Uh, all right, if you guys need it, I happen to have I happen to have a flex compact drill over here somewhere. Dude, I'm really really liking these Milwaukee's man. Look at this. That's pretty good. It, it is pretty good, honestly. See how they locked it? Look, see how they like kind of stuck. <laughs> Milwaukee's but, yeah. they need to uh they need to do something about this right here. Yeah. It's easy just to take it off. Easy to get stuck. Just just cut it off. It's actually pretty hard metal. Okay. <laughs> Man, I thought I was all prepared here and uh I got to be honest, that, that might be my favorite thing that you've ever done. <laughs> Unless you fall off this chair. If you fall off the chair, that'll be my favorite thing that you've ever done. That's your favorite. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right now, he's just uh, hanging cord. Okay, it's good. I haven't had I haven't done a, a pull up since the presidential fitness award. I shouldn't be doing pull ups. How sick I've been! <laughs> you started with a clue, buds. Who are you kidding? You never had a clue. <laughs> The reality is you wouldn't have 200 pounds on a wire pole anyway. Probably not. No. I do want to you, see you hit your head again. It. You might be pulling you might be pulling 30 to 40 upwards and you're not even pulling, you're just keeping tension on it the whole time and you got a good <laughs> feed if it's really pushing it in there. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm scared now. I can hear it, dude. Uh, come on. Oh, he went down on the ground already. It, it, if it breaks, just remember the sound of his knees hitting the ground. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. Way to go. So, so that jet line's good for 200 pounds. 
All right, Big Red. <laughs> so, let's put our money where our mouth is. You put so many other things where your mouth is. Sometimes it's just too damn easy. <laughs> <laughs> Like a pro. <laughs> I don't even take these half hitches yet. <laughs> but I will take some of this slack off this bar. I don't need all this. Yep. It reminds me of my favorite nursery rhyme. Little boy blue. He needed the money. <laughs> <laughs> Budsville. I I'm not gonna say nothing, but your wife only charges ten. Um <laughs> I should I should so regale him while you're we're while you're doing this. What's that? While you're doing this, I should regale them with some dirty nursery rhymes. Oh, uh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it on my stream. I'm just saying. Yeah. See, I'm handcuffed. The before I tape it. So this is what we're doing, right? There's no tricks here. Oh, That's don't be a bitch. Right. That's a single <laughs> blue wire. You see it? Yes. That's just one blue number 12. Yes. As if it was on a fish tape. <laughs> well, I got to see it now. Oh, we're going to show that. Jamie, I, I just said it. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. When along came a spider, sat down beside her and said, Hello, ma'am. What's in the bowl? It's not really what he said. It was a little more ethnically uh, fronty, but, you know, hickory dickory dock. That's all I can get because the next line is dirty. <laughs> uh, Georgie Porgy Puddin' Pie. Um, in a girl's eye, when that young lady's eye swelled shut, Georgie Porgy made passionate love to that one eyed woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not as much fun. Who can hit the like button the fastest? That would be interesting. Hmm. <laughs> He's got tunnel vision. That well, pretty much. Well, all I know is he makes them hoes turn up their nose. <laughs> That's how you. It's not how I remember your mom reading me a nursery rhyme. It sounded more like oh 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Probably Panthers X. Well, wow, that's true. Oh no, what's he doing? I want I don't hear any sound out of him again. That might help. <laughs> All right. So extra wire and we'll be okay. That's it. I'm just gonna tape it here. Well, way to go, Rod. <laughs> that sounds like grammar. No, Sorry, grammar really was more like <laughs> right, competitive. I, what the you hell are you talking it? about? Uh, I it? mean, try to sit on it, Potsy, and see. I mean, it's got two ends. You can make a U around your waist, like a saddle. Make it like a saddle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> after taking out our dentures. Thanks, <laughs> Kansas. I appreciate that. Man, this is going to really help. Tonight on Stupid People Tricks. Yeah, yeah, Stupid People Tricks. Here we go. Ready? Let's do it. Uh, oh, uh, oh, I know what to do. We will sit in this stool when it fails. Wee! <laughs> Damn. Okay. Damn good wire guy. letting me down. Okay. He's making a swing to fly into the Ryobi cheeks. <laughs> you see that though, right? We went from one wire that was slipping. Yeah. To all these wires with half inches. That's all we did was just add. <laughs> and that string is barely good for 200 pounds. Jamie, he is going to climb it. I, I want to. Uh, I don't know, Paul. It'll be interesting. Let's let's put a bend in it. Uh, I mean, there are a couple of bends in it already. Yeah, yeah, but we're gonna we can do another hand. I think. Let's see. I'm not to DIY tactical with tactical errors episode 1313 13, part 13. <laughs> Actually, this is probably something pros would do on the job site to entertain themselves. <laughs> Try it again with Kimu uh, of, of materials. <laughs> there are better ways to make a swing. You ready? Do it. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. That's impressive. <laughs> no, buds. If you wire his house that way, he's just gonna laugh. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, go. <laughs> Who farted? It, this is stupid human tricks. Dude, that would have hurt if that failed. <clears throat> oh, wouldn't have hurt me. I wouldn't have felt the damn thing. Yeah, that would, that would laugh. Actually, deal. it probably would have hurt me because my size would have hurt from laughing. <laughs> Black Wolf, shut up. What? No, just name a car, name a cat. Who so, cares? Yeah. All right. Do I need to show you how to? Uh, I mean, that one's pretty Comment B. His wife has seen him do a whole lot worse with a whole lot more dudes. Uh, oh, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So it's only been 30 minutes. We're showing you three different wire heads to make. I'm going to show you the ultimate one right now. But first, we're going to compare the Milwaukee's to the Knipex. So we got 12 <laughs> wires here. Let's see. You ready? <laughs> we got all but one with no trouble. All right. Uh, all but two. All but two, no trouble. Not bad. And that's 20 bucks. All right, now for the sixty, the sixty dollar ones. Uh, about the same, less clean because it tried to grab them all. But about the same, man. Yeah. That's about the same. They're both really good, man. My money's on the Milwaukee Sabbath. Just because who farted? He just did the half hitch. Was that? Oh, who farted? Came in late. Said you didn't do a half hitch. I was Appreciate defending that. your honor. Oh yeah, you have to go back and watch it. It's a half hitch. A bunch of half hitches. I was defending <laughs> your honor. So if we wanted to cut all these, let's see here. Can we get all these in here? I mean, yeah, dude, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. The Knipex are pretty pretty impressive. Oh, my bad. Who farted? He <laughs> has no honor. You you missed him. Uh, you missed him uh, doing a little pole dancing for us. 
literally. And then the pole hit him in the head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Clevy, he's uh, doing stuff. <laughs> I kind of forgot what he was doing by now. All right, what we're doing now. We're going to strip all these. And I'm not going to swing on this neck, or maybe I will. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This is how you make a really, really good head. So you take all these wires like this. <laughs> mm. So we saw him pole dancing and gave himself head tonight. <laughs> Marilyn Manson. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So if these are like number eights or something, this would be like almost necessary. A lot of Kinepex is really um, impressive. Hang on. <laughs> yes, you did, who farted. You missed the whole thing. I can't stop himself from twerking. He's twerking while he's working. <laughs> You guys want to see something cool while he's uh stripping while he while he's stripping for us. <laughs> By the way, I think we can get a better stripper, but hey. Let me show you guys something cool. Oh no, uh, Bucardi said no, he doesn't want to see anything cool. All right. His backside scraping the floor. That I don't know if that's cool or hot. It's it's really on the individual. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that these will do all this wire and one uh -huh. is actually pretty impressive, man. Well, so will the Milwaukee. You just don't give it the credit it deserves. Well, these are strange. They're to the solid, no problem. Let's see what the Milwaukee's going to do. I told you guys I could get it together. And all I had to do was throw the instruction manual away and put it together the way I wanted to. Yeah, you brought a <laughs> tactics building that table, didn't you? Oh, the table went together fine. Look, the table went together fine using just uh, studs and uh, pe a cheap piece of plywood that was warped to, sh to, to shit. But uh, <laughs> the laser engraver itself, I tried to use the instructions, and I found out that I'm not good with instructions. So I said, screw it. I threw them across the room and I just put it together the way I wanted to. Yeah. And the first time I did that, it came together perfectly. Beautiful. But this is 600 millimeter by 600 millimeter laser engraver because I plan to start making some merch for you guys. Che just cheap things, you know, stuff that... Uh, I think you guys might enjoy maybe little sayings on it, like what's on the hat. Yeah. Maybe make some keychains for everybody. <laughs> You'll show you. I'll show you six millimeters. I mean, six. Who farted? You got to play with it to get it up to six. <laughs> <laughs> self tappers. A lot of guys don't know the difference between self tappers and uh, self drilling screws. Right. Do well, I one has to be red, one doesn't. Do they? Uh, no, they don't offer a router. It's a, it's a cutter and an engraver. So I don't really need a a full on CNC. Kind of looks a uh, script the uh, those lines. All right. So what you do? I got it off of Amazon. Six hundred bucks. I thought it was a steal. For a 22-watt engraver. So what you what do? What did that thing do? So it's a laser engraver and cutter. So I can make I, I can make engravings on wood, metal, glass, uh, acrylic. And I can cut out uh, objects on wood uh, and, and acrylic. Right. So I cool. price with 600 bucks, yeah. 
That is a good price. My little, the little one that I got sent to me was $800. This big one uh, outdoes it in every way. And it's only 600. Comes with four other tools. Uh, I did get the honeycomb thing for underneath it. Can I show it working live? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have to, uh, I have to download some software onto my computer, but what is a self driller screw? So it's kind of like having a screw that does the uh, die part for you. So you drill a pilot hole and a, a self a self tapper actually taps the hole as you're drilling it in. I have not used it yet. All right, so I'm just gonna show you on these couple here like this, right? Yeah. What you're going to do, you can put this directly on your fish tape, too. You don't need a string, necessarily. But you're going to divide these down the middle here. Yes. And if you're pulling wire that's, like, this big, uh -huh. each one of these is going to be the size of that. Right. So when I just showed you how strong one of these is, right, you don't need all those strands. So what you do is you actually divide it in half. You fold a couple over and you kind of cut off the rest. You might only use like six of these out of a cable <laughs> that's that big. Right. When you make up your head. But for this smaller one here, we're just going to take this in half. And it's important to kind of know where they're coming from because, you know, if you imagine a uh, bunch of trapezoids all nested together to make a circle that's kind of the way the wire is where it all lays in and you want to make sure you get an even amount from each side because if you're dealing with bigger wire <laughs> say you got like that bump up in the middle right there you don't want to have the yeah. bump up you want to get the wire that came from this side over here right so the smaller wire doesn't matter, but the bigger wire, you got to get this untwisted completely. Get the left strands from the left side of the wire, get the right side from the right side of the wire. Then you're going to take it straight up like this, just like that. Yeah. And you can do that to all these. So you're going to notice that this one's longer, this one's shorter. That's purposeful. That way we can bring this down here. See, so we're creating our stagger. And now these are all the same height, but the thickness is still down lower. No, Dad. No, Dad's in here. Yeah, what's up? I uh, I don't know what's going on with your family there. And by the way, somebody asked me what software I run with that. There are two. There's Light Gerbil, which I will not use because I have flashbacks to the war. And then there's light burn. I'm going to listen to a certified electrical inspector. <laughs> What's up? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. Gonna get half of these. Well, if you're only going to get half of them, make them the good half. Yeah. Uh. I'm and I read the egg poem and I read the egg poem. I am. I got married to the whore next door. She's been married 67 times before, and all of them were a dick. <laughs> Hang on. See, trying to illustrate why you want to get the wire where it no, came from. Either. Yeah. If this was a larger wire, there's no way. You know what I mean? You would have to. With the smaller wire, you get a little bit more forgiveness. The larger wire, you got to get this exactly where it came from. Right. He is making a wind chime, buds. A wind chime. How did you know? Okay. <laughs> you can sell that that at big lots. <laughs> For the seventy dollars, so we're gonna put this directly into our fish tank. All right, 
This is where you actually need somebody to hold this for you. Uh -huh. We're going to go here like this. And we're going to fold this down. Like that. Yeah. And you're going to take this one and go the opposite direction. And you're going to fold it down. If it would ever go. To an even you're amount. Making a cat, cat head, bro. Like that? Yeah. You're going to cut off anything that goes beyond this wire. It's just not going to help you. Right. And you're going to get your next set. We can make this next set way up here close. Like this. Yep. Bring this set over here. Like that. So now you can see where this wire is down here. The, the brown is down lower. The blue is up higher. So we're starting that stagger. Yeah. <laughs> what the take two? a while strip really long. We're going to put it down even lower. But we're still going to fold it up here. We're going to go back around the other way. Pull it down here. And now you can see we've got one up higher. This is where it started. You got one here in the middle. And you got one down here, down low. Yeah. And you don't need all these strands. But once you get all these on here, because these might be number eights, they could be number fours, they could be 500s, whatever you're doing. You just don't want them to be all at the same height. <laughs> That's what you're trying to do. Right. Trying to get them all, trying to get them all tapering as they pull through the conduit. So when you go through your 90s, it's kind of like a triangle instead of a square, just getting pulled straight through. Paul, he is showing you what to do when you get paid by the hour. <laughs> so if they're bigger strands, you're going to beat the hell out of this with your clients, like a lot. You're gonna smash yeah. it down. You kind of kind of pull it down here. You're gonna smash it there. And then one of the most important things you can do once you get to this point right here, you're gonna take some strands. Agreed. You're gonna do this small. Take some strands like this. <laughs> Not drop them on the floor. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to keep tension on it. You're going to take these strands, you're going to wrap it around. Like that? Yep. And then you're going to twist it like you're making up a joint. And you have a whole lot of experience with this stuff, apparently. Yeah. Twist it like that. Fold it down. Smash it down. You can probably tow a car with this. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> then you're going to start, you can hear the fish tapes like really loose here. Tape it up all the way down. Now we're, we're overlapping the strands, yeah. especially with this thicker. We can cut all that off. We're pretty much done with that. But you don't want to cut it all in one group. Remember, we want to keep it staggered. So you're going to cut off a little bit here. Cut off a little here. Drop it on the floor here. Hey, that's an ideal tape. Yeah. The best, actually. Ideal makes some of the best tapes. Um, he's using Harbor Freight tape. I don't think but that's I Harbor Freight tape. It's 3M. 
I don't know if three of them was for Harbor Freight, but uh, okay. Harbor Freight tape turns white when you pull it. Just Harbor saying. Freight tape unrolls by itself in the winter and goes all the way down the street without you. We can cut those off. We don't need those. And now you've got, you got what, three? <laughs> three number 12s and a, and a 14 ground that you could pull probably 500 feet if you had enough. And this will never break. This will not break. This is here right. to stay. Wow. Yeah. I don't know how to show you how here it is to stay, but it is. this is not coming undone. You can see where it's nice and tapered. Yeah. And you can have this whole portion of just bare copper for number eights and fours all the way down. <laughs> they don't like your 3M tape. Why don't they like the 3M tape? That's the best. Uh, uh, you know. Really Look, they, it's Gorilla tape. Um, no, they just want to complain about something. Oh, okay. Well, when you're an experienced and you don't know, I suppose that's okay. Take that off that gloves. Take that hat off that gloves. I, I don't know what he's saying. I, I don't Take speak that. Hard. Take that hat off that gloves. Okay. I, I, I'm, I don't speak uh I don't speak trailer park, so you got me. I, I don't know. It's kind of like a huh. Home is where you make it. <laughs> Jake builds Legos. He's a Lego subcom. Okay, All that right, was pretty so funny. <laughs> that's, man, that's that's how you make a solid joint right there. We can actually take it off this fish tape, tie it to here, and let's see how it holds up. All right. I do see if I can sneak it off of here. Sometimes you can. <laughs> I don't speak Legos. Me either, man. <laughs> yeah, it is a night. He, he does great work. We give him shit, but he does great work. <laughs> can you make it spin like a cowboy? No, but yeah, we can I'm probably gonna... make it spin like your mom. Uh <laughs> The trick will be getting this off of this and then getting a wire through it. I have not used the M18 or the Milwaukee fish tape. Sorry. <laughs> My wife's actually a spinner. I'm just saying when you're four foot ten and about 70 pounds, you're, you're a spinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got it off. All right. All right, let's see what we can do. Still don't know why they call it a cat's head, but it's cool. Uh, <laughs> Paul, it's pretty funny, actually. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a blue wire through it real quick. What's your go to tool brand? Klein. Okay, we got a wire through it. <laughs> this is going to be like super safe, dude. Um, the MX you fish tape, Jesus. An angler. I I've never used the Milwaukee fish tape, to be honest with you. I have no reason why I ever would. Fine, because we're electrician. They don't have rigid at your home depot. That's sorry. Right. Oh, what's the power tool brand? I personally use rigid. And I've got 53 different battery platforms, but that's the one I use for everything. Okay. 
I want to see you come in like a wrecking ball. Huh. A hyper tough fish tape and the hyper tough 12 volt Joshua Wilson. No, you don't, you liar. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Myself For 60 bucks. Jeez. Okay, let me show you. Show you what we're working with here. There you go. That's what we're working with. Let's do it. I think my dog is outside barking at something. I should have just stand on these, or is it not? Let's look. Long enough. I'm just I got open the door. You should. Oh, he he is. This is stupid human tricks with coochie uh, with uh, tools and tactics tonight. Perfect. Let me see if my okay, dog is outside. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, I'm always ready. I'm trying to get all the stretch out of it. I I do want to kind of know if it's gonna fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations. You did it. So Here's the stretch on it. You can see where our, that vertical horizontal piece that I tied keeps all the strands together. See where it's down there nice and tight? Yeah. The The finish of those strands is way down here in the tape. So that's just the tape getting cold. Nice. But yeah. Yeah, that's that's good for five people to pull it, man. Your daughter can swing on it. Well, good for her. So, that's Later farted. Well, if you've got somebody else holding that for you, it goes a little bit quicker. And then if it's, you know, not wire like this, if it's actually further that way, it's a lot easier to make that up. <laughs> Tactics is the wire stretcher. <laughs> Got a driver and tactics in the back of the van swinging from wires. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if the if the van is rocking, don't come a knocking, right? That's what I understand. Nice. Uh, uh, it, it only took you an hour and three minutes. <laughs> we made up uh, four different heads. We did the standard just loop. We did the time all together and showed you all on the fail. Then we did the half hitch. And then we did the uh, staggered strands. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's I'm retired. You if, you're, if, you're pulling, if you're pulling four, yeah, four of as many as you're going to pull. If you're pulling four 600s about that big each, uh well actually now you can put we can pull five. We're pulling five six hundreds. Uh because you have a uh, three hots and neutral on the ground. That's what you would do. You would most certainly that's exactly what you would do. We would actually take rags though and duct tape, because you can duct tape at that point. And you're gonna duct tape where the wire goes like this and the next one starts like this, you know, and you're just getting that stagger going. Because the wire yeah. is almost like a fist, like it, it, you know, when you're pulling it, you're, you're you may as well be bending this stuff with how strong yeah. the wire is around every curve as you're pulling it. So if you got a 300 foot pull or whatever you got, you're pulling five wires that are like this and making them the shape of that pipe. Think about that. Take it easy, Jimmy. Uh, do you want to tell them that I don't know who asked, but somebody asked what I retired from. Do you want to tell them? Uh, you were 
a very successful yeah solar contractor but but you uh also you know had a couple of businesses and stuff only seven of them only seven of them. <laughs> that's it no, no big deal uh, I didn't make a lot of projects for the U.S. military. If you're wondering why I'm qualified to talk about tools, yeah, there you go. That would do it. <laughs> and don't mind me. I just put my money where my mouth is, man. I'm I'm so confident in what I know that I'm going to show you live. And if I'm going to mess it up, you know, it just didn't work out. But it should work out because I've got the I've got the experience to show you. So, yeah. <laughs> Kansas. Pretty cool town. I think I'll sell it. Thanks, Jeffrey. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, that's exactly why I was asking, not that I doubted. Yep. No. Just because I don't I don't I don't give myself an intro in in my videos. I'm not I'm a solar because I, I I solar <laughs> home building, home remodels, plumbing, kind of had my hands in everything. Yeah, you're never uh, going to hear me say I'm an electrical inspector uh, other than alive. Right. Purpose. Yeah. I, none of that. Stay. Look, if, if people disagree with, with me on tools, back it up. But chances are I'm going to be right anyway. Yeah. I'm going to take over Timu. <laughs> I don't know about all that. They're not happy with me. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I know. They're refusing to pay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's about all I got, man. We're right at about an hour. Pretty much all. An hour and seven minutes. On track. Yep. Hell yeah, I man. I'm working on getting my GC by the end of the year. I'm only 24 and I've done some pretty big jobs. Man, that's awesome. Love it. Good for you. That's awesome. Don't trust your engineers. <laughs> that's the biggest thing, man. Don't trust your engineers. Have your electrical contractor as soon as they get onto the job site. Actually, ask the electrical inspector. He might do it for you. I do it for all my jobs. The The engineer that, draw, that draws up the plans is... I'm going to say more than almost always wrong. I know what I can do for these guys. Um, I, I, I've got an idea of what I can do to, for these guys tonight. And it's something that you and I talked about on the phone earlier. Because um, like I try to, to, to get to know a tool before I put it on camera most of the time. Yeah, and I I was using the Flex compact drill last night for a little bit just to get to know it, and uh, I I found something that I truly cannot stand. Uh, do you guys want to see it? Yeah, but they're <laughs> anything they're not ready. <laughs> I mean, if you guys don't want to see it, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, we could do a live again uh, tomorrow or Thursday or whatever. Shout out to something. I don't know. Nathan Wolf. What's up? Show them how to pull it after it's through the conduit. It looks like. Show you how to pull it. What? Uh, they said we'll show them how to pull it through the con or after it's through the conduit. Go the flex compact. All right, let me uh, let me locate it real quick. And All right, I'll uh, I'll show the one thing that I can't stand about it. Right on. Yeah, it takes a minute to make all that stuff up, man. But it's the only way that you can actually pull larger wire. Am I sponsored by any tool brands? No. Neither one of us are. I don't have the personality that you'd want at the face of your company. Yeah, they don't. They don't like us. Nobody likes us. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'll be more interested, but I just don't know that much about electrical. Man, what I just showed you is going to be really helpful for like a handyman or something that is just a little bit over there, in over their head on doing a repair or something. And some wire got broken or they need to add another wire. Whatever. I've done some really, really hard pulls using that. You both have faces that nobody would want. <laughs> Except yeah. your mom. <laughs> the difficult was the exchange stalls when you bought back the wrong tool in its wrong box. Oh, I had to show them the live. They got, like, I had to show them that I got it live or unboxed it live. Yeah, you had to send them a video. Like, That's crazy. It. That's crazy. They're giving me a bunch of shit about it. I'm like, why, why would I care to lie? I got to grab a T25 head and a skirt. Yeah, I've been a little bit sick, man. Well, more than a little bit sick. I've been pretty sick, so I didn't want to do too much. I wasn't really planning on lifting my whole body weight up, but I didn't really want to just demonstrate on how to make a wire head. I wanted to put my money where my mouth was. Yeah, not where you want the money to be. Yeah. What's up, Cole? I was about Disney. to read my phone. I didn't want to butcher it. What's going on? What's that? Why is your garage not done? I don't give a oh, shit. Your ceiling? You're supposed to have level five, man. You don't know this? Look, you got a level five ceiling on every wall surface in your garage. I bet you knew that. Um, to me, it's a fucking garage, and I don't give a fuck. I think it's crazy that level five in my garage, man. Who does that? Uh, all right. The, the, the shit about my ceiling. Fuck off. Uh, that's pretty funny though. Not your fucking people, house. It's it's so superficial, man. Like who? It's a garage, dude. They say that because they can't argue too. These newer houses. Well, that, why? You know, or five hundred k, or even the. Uh, well, it's not true. The million dollar ones are are finished, but. These houses are 500K, they don't have finished garages. They have just the tape. And that all they're required to do is just to tape it and walk away just because of carbon monoxide. All right. So I got that there. Speed two, it's on level one for the clutch setting. Not quite fully charged, five amp hour battery, but it doesn't really matter for this demonstration because it's just a demo. All right, you ready? Yeah, go. <laughs> That's it. That's as far down as level one, though, right? Right. Let's go to level seven. Do you see it on seven now? Yes. How much further down do you think it's going to go? Uh, half an inch. Here, I'll get it up close and personal for you guys. Yeah, I think half, half an, an inch. inch. I'm going to go. We'll, we'll see. Uh, wow. Well, quite dude, a that's a terrible clutch. Level 18. Okay. Still in speed two. What you think it? Oh, it oh, went. So it's useless. It's useless. What you're telling me. So let yesterday when I was doing this, it didn't matter if it was on one or seventeen. As soon as it hit, it was done. Like wow. I think you got some power though, man. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, I'm glad to see it's working better. <laughs> so that was seven, and then I turned it up to nine. Okay. 
I'm going to go to 11. Uh, I imagine doing that to a cabinet installation. Yeah. Yeah, you got your whole jig set up. Are you ready to do so, whatever? You know, you set the clutch and you just drive that thing to the neighbor's house. <laughs> yeah. The weird thing is, like, as you could see, the clutch is just extremely, extremely um, inefficient. Wow. Sick. <laughs> but watch, if I do it again, it might go all the way down. I don't know. Going to go try it at eight. All right. <laughs> no movement at all. I'm not I'm not gonna say anything, but our preliminary testing on the flex. Maybe not the best. It might not be the best compact drill I've ever used. <laughs> drill Run mode 24 cents. Any tricks pulling wire over drop down ceilings? Are you talking about where you got up on a ceiling tile and reach? Or are you talking about Ooh. like cable? Tian DeVal, yeah, man. DeVal, right here. Oh, did you see my shirt, dude? The shirt's pretty cool. That's the most not clutch you've ever seen. Is that an Ariat shirt or a DeWalt yeah. shirt? It's a DeWalt oh. shirt. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I got it here, too. Cool. My wife got this one. Oh, uh, what brand yeah. do you use at the Actually, house? The merch. What what brand do you use at the house? Um, what brand? Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> it's red because he's really a Milwaukee fan. The return the uh, the drill's not actually defective. It's just the clutch is garbage. Okay, we just took that thing now. Well, I'm having a hard time turning this. Uh, track. I mean, you know what? I know how to be fair to the. I know how to be fair to the flag. Oh, look at my. Got the Dewalt stool. We're gonna be fair to flex right now. And how are we going to be fair to flex? Same screw, same location. We just I'm had it on a lot as well. We just had it on drill setting eight. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take my rigid subcompact and I'm going to put it on drill setting eight. In speed two okay. on eight. It actually has a four amp hour battery. So we'll see. Hmm. So you can see it actually drove it further than the flex did on eight. Yeah. We'll go to 10 and go up by twos. Again, you see it move. First tri trigger pull. And on 12. All the way. So, yeah, more consistent. Use your improv impact and drill for anything when the weight on you matters. Yeah, man, recently I switched to the just the driver, the 12 volt DeWalt driver. Uh, it's great, yeah. super light, more powerful than what I need. Uh, I think this whole setup here is about five pounds. Probably less. Yeah. So that's why I'm a big fan of these. But I have it back at 12 because 12 dro drove it all the way. We know that you had to go to 18 to get it to drive all the way with the flex. Yeah, I got to answer this question. And I got to make sure. And look, that the rigid is consistent. That's twice it hit the top. Just hit the top at 12. It didn't sink it all the way. 
It got to the top and stopped twice. Put it up to 14 to take it out. So back to 12. Can I get a Hoya? Uh, Karen Hasbrock. Is that one? Nope. Nope. It's uh, Karen Hasbrock. Uh, Hoya. Hoya. Your turn. I say Hoya. Can I say Hoya? Hoya. Yeah. There's no W in there. That's, that's no perfect. It's, it's nice. It is perfect. We'll see you later, comment Z. So just so we're clear on this, as much as I like the flex, which this is because of the battery, much heavier than the rigid. The rigid has the better clutch. Dual tabletop planer on clearance to those stores down to 322 to oh from 599. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Which one is it? Which planner uh, is it? Rigid's not bad. It's just a little rigid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I so using that uh, using that flex last night, just testing her out and seeing how bad that clutch is. I was like, yeah, I'd never buy this. AJ, just because of that. You're right. Uh, I don't know about the last one you said. The first one. You're going to get taken yeah. care of here. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Rodney Widger is asking about wire Thanks, above a lay-in ceiling, right? Yeah. You can't have Romex above a lay-in ceiling. So let's let's get that straight. There's exceptions if you are in residential. Oh, Jamie. Take but it easy, you Russell. you not have Romex above a lay-in ceiling, typically. You only have to be plenum rated if you're in a plenum. So a lot of lay-in ceilings are not plenum. A lot are, but a lot aren't. So it just depends. If you lift your Thanks, ceiling bud. up and you can see your HVAC unit, right, and you follow the return air, if <laughs> it's above the ceiling, you know it's not a plenum. Or you know that is a plenum space. If it's got a duct that yep. runs to underneath the lay-in, and it's got its own grill and everything, then it's most likely plenumed. Wow, Dizzy, that's impressive. I just wanted to walk one inch roto drill and ship my <laughs> bathroom. Thanks, Budsville. Thanks, Kansas. You guys are doing a bang up job. We appreciate it. Nice, nice. Yeah, thank you to the moderators. That is good, man. We've reached that point to where just about all your hey. SMSs are capable of getting something done. What's going on, Caleb? So the tip to running, I guess, MC above a lay-in ceiling would be get this tool. Hey, Caleb said thanks for the advice the other day. Oh, yeah, no worries, man. Swish rod. Oh, that's not even a fish rod. What is that? It's it's like one of those things, you know, when you go to the uh, yeah. you go to the Renaissance Fair and they're jousting, and then it's like a pretend one. It all it all goes inside of itself there, so it extends yeah. out twenty feet, I think. I don't even have enough uh, garage to show you how long this thing is. Paying for the knowledge, exactly. <laughs> Don't hang your body weight from 12 gauge wire. You can't hang my body weight from 12 gauge wire, that's for sure. You just can't you can't hang your body weight on 12 gauge wire on the string because the string will cut the wire. That's right. what was happening. And occasionally hit yourself in the head. And occasionally hit yourself in the head. Luckily, I only hit it with my hand and not the pipe because that would have been terrible. <laughs> Day. <laughs> <laughs> Get back over here. 
Man, I, I got Caleb. He has a tool testing channel here. So does Dave. And I, I got it. If you guys have used that compact flex drill, is, is it me or is the clutch just that bad? It, it looks pretty bad from what you just showed. Yeah, I'll, it, it, that alone, because I use the I use the clutch on my drill when I'm doing woodworking because I want to make it sure it goes just so far. Uh, but that clutch alone would make me not buy or recommend the the flex. Who I'm is Dave afraid, Diligent, Dave? I'm afraid to ask KP what the great news is, but we'll go ahead. What's the great news? Hopefully, hopefully it's really great news. Do I have a, a fix for the clutch slip? Put it in drill mode. Put it in drill mode. That's yeah. it. Yeah, there is no that, fix. That'd for be it. it. But you can't like. So I use my I use my compact tools around the house. I end up I've ended up I, I got them. I was like, well, it's just a thing. I, I'll get them to see how they are. And now I use them around the house for almost everything. And I rarely ever touch the full size tools unless I'm really needing the power because I love the the weight that I I get with them and they can do so much. I got I saved a boatload of money on my car insurance by switching to reverse and fleeing the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Never used the flex. Okay. I'm thinking about making a YouTube channel just for tools and on the job vids. Nice. So pretty much what we got going here. Just pick up your Finding damn camera. The time and do it. Is the key, you know. Just don't even sweat it, dude. Just just pull out your phone, hit record, and upload. That's all you got to do. And if it's interesting and if it adds value, people are going to watch it. Uh, so CW. Sometimes when I do woodworking, I'm in a spot where I can't see the trigger. So I always have test material outside of my main working piece Bro, really and I will test, stuff. I will test that clutch to see what setting I have to have it on to get it to go. Yeah. A lot of times, especially, and you know this cause you worked in the, tra you, you've been in the trades. A lot of times you're working blind. You can't see what you're doing all the time. Yeah. So when you're when you use a drill like I use a drill for everything, sometimes you got to use that clutch. Appreciate it. I like this hat. <laughs> v sauce that you. <laughs> I got too much hair for V sauce. I think right. I I have no idea. I'm sure you've gotten sauce on your face before. <laughs> Damn. You got me. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got to get off of here. BWs. You got the flex hammer drill. I don't plan on getting the other. I've got enough drills. Yeah. Man, you got the uh, flex drill. You're pretty much set for any task you got to do. Yeah. I'm, Joshua Wilson, you're getting a lot, rid of a lot of tools. I know of a good home. Yeah. Um, uh, gladly take donations. Uh, <laughs> I made a list. If it isn't on the list, it isn't yours. What do you think of the about Mike Hawk? Who's Mike Hawk? <laughs> it's mine. And don't touch it. Oh, well, it's tiny. Oh, mine, <laughs> yeah. yeah, if it's yours, it's definitely, definitely tiny. If it's this other guy, it's on cold days, he's technically a girl. Uh, <laughs> pretty much running drill and clutch, saying not breaking anything like a wrist. Yeah. Rodney, I got to call you pretty soon. We got to do something together. Just not to break anything like your wrist, yeah. I mean, there are going to be stuff that I can send you guys away. Nice, yeah, that'd be awesome. You, yeah, it would be nice. You don't have to. I yeah, was joking. Not expected. So. Anything's appreciated. 
Maybe we're going to start that channel tomorrow. Start it. Do it. Us. That's all you got to do, man. Just, you know, what I did, I've got two phones. So this is an S10 Plus. Pretty good camera. Up to date. Still, still, uh, I think the last update for this phone was put out a couple of months ago. Might be one more for it. S10 Plus is like 130 bucks. It doesn't eat your other phone's battery. And, That's true, uh, Getting a second phone and then just using Wi-Fi okay. yeah. has been a game changer. Rodney's going to be home the day of my ex-wife's birthday. April 3rd. Nice. Did you do play with stuff again? This acts like a short. Yes, YouTube did play with stuff again. Yep, this is uh, the, this is a live setting that they have through the app now, and it kind of sucks for you guys, but ninety percent of people watch on their phone. Yep, I've been getting way better. It's amazing how that works when you use the drill right. And you you put it in your left hand for down, your right hand for up. You'd be amazed at how quickly you get ambidextrous. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do, Caleb. Just have a good time. <laughs> KP, start a channel, man. There, there's yeah. enough space on here for everybody. Stephen B., how you been, man? What's this about? What's up, nobody? This was uh, making wire easy to pull, pretty much. So we took a bunch Probably of, not of wire. Red. I was hanging on the ceiling. Uh, bro about to say short stream is not good, or is it? The short streams is interesting. They, they keep forcing us to do different things. Yeah. Uh, YouTube definitely likes to use their platform to promote whatever they're doing so shorts or youtube live is what we're doing now that's what they want yeah D dave drove an mm -hmm. eight inch spax with a drill the other day well, that's what you're supposed to use uh caleb's yeah. channel is very good i enjoy it renegade make sure you guys check out renegade caleb uh diligent dave uh impact nation yeah, I haven't seen him in a minute. He's busy. He's a busy man. He's a, he's a family man. Big Red Farmer. I see, you got to look at your analytics, Big Red. I can't tell you. Yeah. Whenever your audience is on the most. We've been doing these days. We've been doing this for two years now. Two. Yeah. Two years. Tuesday and Thursday live. And Sunday. <laughs> just a big <laughs> from the waist down. I mean, that's what I got. Yeah, yeah. Swings, I'm... knocks over everything on the countertops. It's crazy. Thanks, Caleb. We appreciate it, man. We appreciate the support. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Hopefully, you'll see me tomorrow when you're scrolling. Give it I'll a shot, it. Dizzy. Let us know. You have to work for it. I think we've worked. We've put in the work. Yeah. Yeah. Consistent. Consistency. We got to get though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped five drills and tactic swings what from a wire. He also swings uh swings from a pole and occasionally he gets a hard one to the head. Uh, yeah. Learning with Juan's back. What's up, Juan? Awesome, man. Awesome, B dubs. All right. Over. We're out of here. Uh, for all you Makita guys, don't forget. Blow them like you know them. We'll see you guys later. I can't see your last comment, Rodney. Click all right. donating $10,000. I wish you would. Hey, yeah. for all you guys out there, manscape like your landscape.
if you trim your bush, your deck will always look big. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. All right, you know where to send it, clicks. What do we do for work? Man, we're about to get off of here. I'm an electrical inspector. I'm a hooker. There you go. Thanks, Aaron. Nice. <laughs> see you guys later. <laughs> electrical inspector. That's what we do. Later. He could have just used his left hand to hit the X at the top, but he he had to go like this. <laughs> I found it. No, oh, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm holding my phone here and, and fidgeting with it. You got to fidget with it. All right. See you. You're in. <laughs>